everyone. He's Elliot. Hi, my name is Elliot. I'm 14 and I live in Newport On my very first encounter with this stingray, the ocean has struck me as magical and precious. I'm amazed by everything in the marine world and I want to share my passion with others. Ocean Youth has connected me with so many awesome marine enthusiasts, which I'm truly grateful for. Thank you. Now, let me tell you about my project. The problem. The health and sustainability of our oceans are vital for human health and existence, but many people don't see or understand this link. People need to be educated on their environmental impacts of their lifestyles. Many people just live for the joy of the moment. When they speed and thrash across the bay on their jet skis, they don't think about the trauma they're inflicting on marine life or ecosystem damage. They don't see it, therefore they don't understand it. What could I do to make a difference? When I learned that only 1% of the, ocean, the Earth's oceans were marine protected, my original project aimed at increasing the number of marine sanctuaries. But I soon discovered there were many organisations already doing great work in this area. So why reinvent the wheel? These organisations all told me the same thing. People need to get it before they will take action or before the government will listen. People need to be made to care. So how can I make people care? Ocean visibility is a major challenge. A tree burning on land above water is highly visible, dramatic and demands urgent attention. Underwater, the destruction of marine habitat or failure of marine ecosystems is far less visible. And this is a major issue. Ocean Speed is my solution. Ocean Speed aims to make our underwater marine world more visible, more accessible, and more curious to people. Ocean Speed will make people get it and make more people care. How? Ocean Speed will build awareness in the marine world online. A website will bring marine ecosystems and wildlife into people's homes. It will bring the sea where it needs to be. The online forum will be a website dedicated to collecting underwater facts, figures and stories. It will also spotlight projects and research initiatives. Ocean Speed will be epic, expert and engaging. At first, Ocean Speed will focus on Australian geographies, so I can test and refine the ingredients to make great water under underwater headlines. But just for the record, my ambition is to go global. Ocean Speed website will have many elements that engage people of all different ages. Ocean Speed mission is simple. We want to bring the oceans into your home and we want people to be aware and more people to care about what is underwater. In Australia, nothing currently exists like Ocean Speed, a website specifically aimed at building awareness, education and care about the underwater world. Great news, the domains oceanspeed.com and oceanspeed.com.au are both available for registration. I now provide a brief overview of the key elements of Ocean Speed. New speeds will build awareness and they'll be, significant, they'll be a significant element of the website. There will be articles on marine issues, stories of interest, project and research updates, and ways people can get involved to promote and conserve Australia's fascinating marine worlds. The new speeds will start monthly as momentum builds and more content providers are recruited. The new speeds will become more regular and within 12 months of going live, my hope is that Ocean Speed will be established as the go-to site for all of your daily underwater news around Australia. All content will be vetted by administrators before publishing to make sure it is aligned with the mission and values of Ocean Speed. It is important that Ocean Speed inspires. Project updates like Mission Blue and the like will share intel on current and future direction of best practice marine conservation. Updates from projects and research centres across Australia will have, a, will have a page introducing their movements and will have a direct link to their pages, which will also provide vital info on how we can make a difference individually and together. This part of the website's awareness will be moving and inspirational. The power of one will be celebrated on Motion Speed. The Age of the Sea will be a dedicated section of the website where individuals can sign up and post their personal underwater encounters or initiatives. Maybe you saw a pot of brown around dolphins that rarely passes the bay. Or maybe you started your own ocean saving project that you'd like to promote. The top feed will be, then be promoted to the news feed. People consume news in many different ways. Ocean's feed will provide underwater headlines in different formats to make news easy to consume and to share. 
Whilst a major part of Ocean's Feed will be the news feed, which will captivate and educate people of all ages, there will be a specific elements targeting youth. For example, a marine identification page will provide a fantastic one-stop research and education tool about all marine species and organisms. You'll be able to find out whatever you'd ever like to know, from isopods to frogfish to the yeti crab or the Christmas tree one. Sharing information about the wild and curious is fun. Importantly, it makes you feel more informed, more connected and more committed. There will be heaps of videos and Insta feeds as well, as we know the younger people prefer watching rather than reading. Many of us will not board on an international plane anytime soon. The unprecedented popularity of domestic tourism across Australia might be considered by some an outside of COVID. I've already noticed that travel sites like escape.com.au are making special mention of Australian marine megafauna and marine encounters of the majestic kind. They're promoting great dive locations and awesome underwater destinations. Ocean Speed will make the most of this increased interest in marine tourism to promote marine conservation. Seeing something and experiencing it yourself gives you a thrill that you'd never get from watching a video. Experiencing something in the flesh gives you a true appreciation for the beauty and the scale. You connect and you want to protect. The more people we can get to spend time in and understand the ocean, the better. I've contacted Escape to see if I can promote some of their marine holiday destinations. If people are searching for marine adventure getaways, this is also a great way to bring people onto Ocean Speed. Let me tell you about a dock. Like many, I've been inspired by the documentary film My Octopus Teacher, which captures a year in the short life of an octopus. The film tracks the everyday adventures of an octopus from defending herself against pajama sharks and the art of camouflage to her daily business of feeding and playing. My Octopus Teacher gave me a new perspective and connection to octopuses, as well as a big desire to protect those amazing cattle forests. It made me think, if you individualise and personalise marine life, you become more connected and committed to their protection. A doctor is all about supporting individual marine life in sanctuaries. All monies made through adoption will be directed to their specific protection in sanctuary. For the past 40 days, I've snorkeled off the, in the bay of Williamson, and I've developed a relationship with a globe fish I've nicknamed Cyril. I visit Cyril every day as he's always at the same spot on the same pole. I figure if I can strike up a relationship with Cyril after only a brief time snorkeling, then surely other amateurs and expert divers all over Australia could help build Ocean Speed adopter family. After all, if Tucker the Golden Retriever can brag over 2 million followers on Instagram, imagine how popular we could make our underwater friends. Ocean Speed members are called fins, in the recognition of their power, their momentum and their ability to be change makers. Fins memberships bring special privileges. Ocean Speed will encourage you to follow Fins, and any of their blogs or posts will be prioritised in the news feeds, which will help with awareness. Fins will also get special access to the website chat functions and discounts on merchandise. Fees from Fins memberships will be directed to support the most popular projects and organisations, with the popularity being a measure of website traffic. Can you really tell I'm really in love with my logo? I, I think it would make great merchandise. At this stage, it's just the concept, but I would like to contact a company like Design Cloud to see if I can produce merchandise that is made from recycled plastic, so all product is ocean safe. Merchandise is not only good for awareness, but as a not-for-profit, merchandise will also help fund Ocean Speed website costs and sponsored projects. Network, network, network. The success of Ocean Speed will hinge on establishing great networks that will provide engaging and expert content. I've been in contact and already recruited many ocean enthusiasts, project managers and organisations. I'm happy to report that they are all very willing to provide updates, information and articles on their respective marine projects once Ocean Speed goes live. Their positive feedback has given me even more confidence that Ocean Speed is important, is needed and could make a real difference. I acknowledge, it. I acknowledge that my networking has only just begun. I welcome any introductions to key marine conservationists in Australia so I can continue to build meaningful relationships and networks for Ocean Speed. Instagram and Facebook pages are already in development to promote and redirect traffic to the main Ocean Speed website. 
Younger people are less likely to visit a website directly. Something on Insta or Facebook needs to catch their eye and then they'll click through and land on Ocean Speed. I've reached out to the Student Voice Network for guidance and resources, and resources to help kickstart website development. I want Ocean Speed to be the, Australia's number one marine conservation and education site. I'm 14, I have big vision and big ambition, but I need a lot of help. It's great the Student Voice Network is already on board to help and guide with the site's development. I'll need a mentor with expertise in running websites and a passion for our oceans. I'll also need to recruit an Elliot equivalent volunteer in each state to maintain a, maintain a local focus, build local relationships, establish ongoing feeds, feeds and scout the news across the, their local and state networks. I'm here to admit I don't know what I don't know but I'm eager to learn and I'm 110% committed and passionate about making Ocean Speed a reality. Ideally, I would love to secure a funding for, to get Ocean Speed built by a professional, but the upfront costs are steep. There are DIY options using online templates, which are less expensive option, but I'm inexperienced when it comes to website builds. Tapping into the experience of, of the Student Voice Network, I'm confident there's a third option when it combines pro build and DIY elements. So the budget for the website construction will be less than 6,000 to close. I want Ocean Speed to build marine awareness and promote marine conservation all over Australia. The website will provide an important platform to educate, inspire and unite new and experienced conservationists. It will be the news feed of the oceans, keeping people updated on the latest wins and challenges facing our marine worlds. I hope you're all as excited as I am about the possibilities of Ocean Speed. Thank you for listening. Well done, Elliot. I can see people applauding. I've read Nicola's amazing comment in the chat box already. That was so good. Now I just have to buy merchandise from everybody. I need to buy it from every one of our Ocean New students. That was amazing. Um, Tiana and I, I know we're very lucky. We've, we've heard a lot about Ocean Speed already and we're already keen to sign up. But it sounds like you've got a few people that are already involved. Who have, who have you reached out to that have already agreed to supply content if, if you go ahead with it? Uh, my, pretty much all those people on the slide I said put up before surrounding Australia. So that, that most people are pretty, um, pretty excited to get on and help, help out. Well, I think, and I'm sure Claudette and Tiana can adhere to this and probably Nicola as well. Um, within the marine conservation industry, this is something that has been missing. And I know with Sea Change Network is very similar as well, Nicola, sort of building that spot where we can all go to find out what we want because we're all part of 600 Facebook groups and 800 websites we visit daily. It would be nice if we could just open up our newsfeed and see the news that we really want to know about. So... I think it's an amazing concept. Tiana, I know when we first heard it, we were pretty blown away. Yep. I, I kind of just want to steal it and run with it. <laughs> no, but you deserve all the, all the praise because it's a brilliant idea and you executed your presentation so well. You spoke so clearly. Well done. Claudette, what would you like to add? I would love to say you are such a fantastic um, communicator. I love the idea. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of websites out there. So there's a lot of work keeping the websites fresh and um, promoted and followers and so on. I actually think you're um, yes to all of that, but you're a really engaging communicator. And I really see like a, a Riley Hathaway or a, 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 a junior Steve Irwin kind of maybe <laughs> dream as Steve Irwin but certainly you're very charismatic and I think we need more people live we need more people getting to know the person rather than just a sort of a website with fish I think your idea of making um Cyril Cyrus Cyril Cyril um <laughs> come to life is adorable I mean look at Oak and my octopus teacher that was just the best thing I've seen in such a long time and it was all about that relationship between humans and animals and I think the more we see of that the better it's going to get from an empathy point of view but I think your real strength is that you're an amazing communicator you're very charismatic very engaging 
maybe look to a YouTube channel or maybe you know, <laughs> something a little bit more with you in it. You, we get to know who you are and your passions. I think, I think you've got a really strong future in that field. So it becomes Elliot Hull's website, Ocean, you know, Ocean Feet. It's so exciting. I love this concept. I love this idea. I think you're right, Claudette. You're, you're a great speaker, Elliot. And um, Tiana and I have said that after we've had our Zoom sessions with you. We're like, he doesn't even need our help. Like, why are we even here? He's ready to go. And I think it's just about taking that next step. And as Claudette said, maybe, yeah, getting your name out there. And I'm sure if you reach out to Nicola, she may be able to help. Um, you're already speaking to Lucy as well about how to make these contacts in the industry. And as Claudette mentioned, we will be sending this out to MSC. We have um, people from Yarra River Keepers here. Um, we've got a few different um, people that are involved in the program that I think would love to partner with you in some way, shape or form to get this website up and running. So thank you so much, Elliot for that it was wonderful and i'm sitting back wanting to log on to your instagram right now so let us know when you start it and hopefully we'll be able to support you moving forward with your project 